Hi, this is just a quick primer for weekend mechanics using torque wrenches. Um, I'm a weekend mechanic and uh, I rarely use a torque wrench. Uh, I do use it when I need it. I just don't do a lot of that kind of work. Um, but um, I have been working on these outboards. I've got a couple of boats here. And this is a Force 120. It's a 1992. It's a two-stroke engine, four cylinders. And uh, I was... I had the head head off, and so I was uh, putting the head back on. And uh, the important thing is to pay attention to the specification for what the torque rating is on these. And I have the manual on this, the shop manual, and the shop manuals are invaluable. But it specifies the torque for these 18 bolts at 225 inch pounds. And uh, I've got some different torque wrenches. Um, I needed uh, the middle torque wrench to get to the specification to fit for this because that's at the very low end for my big torque wrench and at the very high end for my little torque wrench. So I went out and got this one. Uh, so I didn't spend a lot of money on them, but I figure if I get it close and I can actually use one to almost creep up to the other one to make sure that uh, they're kind of agreeing with each other. But at any rate, um, it's uh there's 18 bolts here specification 225 inch pounds but uh the important thing to remember for or at least to know for a weekend mechanic is that there's foot pounds and inch pounds and an inch pound is one twelfth of a foot pound right um and so don't make the mistake of reading it as uh, where it was supposed to be inch pounds and making it foot pounds. I know a guy who made that mistake and he was putting head bolts in and then he realized when he was really torquing on them that probably too much torque and then reread the specification and he realized that he made a mistake. Uh, it's a guy I know pretty well anyway. But um, so I know that guy and he was trying to decide whether to take the head back off completely and redo it and he didn't uh nothing bad happened except it bothered him so he uh, replaced it and torqued it correctly this time um any uh torque uh, instructions will tell you to when you are torquing a bolt move your wrench slowly so that uh, the torque will be more accurate the slower you're moving your wrench so when it clicks you can really feel it and know that you're not over torquing it but anyway, um, these are torqued correctly now. And uh, anyway, just be aware of the uh, fact that some torque specs are in inch pounds and some are in foot pounds. Then also be aware, of course, that your wrenches will be rated in either foot pounds or inch pounds. Uh, this smallest torque wrench I have is, um, they do have the um, metric conversion on the back, but this one is in inch pounds. And the next one I have, the middle torque wrench, is in foot pounds. And then the larger one's in foot pounds. And so uh, these had to be torqued, as I said, to 225 um, inch pounds. But my small torque only went up to 200 inch pounds. So uh, if you do the conversion, 225 divided by 12 is 18.75 foot pounds so i did just take it up to uh, what i did is i bought this wrench and so i'm hunting for 18.75 on this one this one goes from five pounds on up so uh, uh 18.75 pounds was certainly in that range so what i did is i crept up on it of course so i took it to 15 uh, foot pounds and then if you dial in three more that's 18, go halfway, that's 18.5, and then in between the two clicks is 18.75 pounds. And so that's what they're at now. So be aware that specifications are either in inches or feet, foot I should say, or and so are your tools. And uh, just be prepared, of course, before you start a project. One other thing also uh, is that Anytime you're putting a head on here, you'll read uh, your manual will tell you that there's a sequence for the way to tighten these. And that's 
just like a lot of things that are similar to this, what you don't want to do is tighten one end up and then the other. So you want to start at the middle and then actually kind of work out. And uh, specifically on this one is the number one bolt, then number two, three, four, five, six, then seven, then eight, then nine, then 10, 11, then 12, 13, 14, down to the bottom, 15, 16, and then 17 and 18. And the way to do it is to get them finger tight, um, all of them just, you know, as a start, and then kind of work it in sequences. For me, uh, like I said, these are supposed to be 225 inch pounds or 18.5, 18.75 foot pounds. But anyway, I'm, I comparatively, I may have taken these to 10, actually even when I started out with five foot pounds in the sequence, then 10 foot pounds in the sequence, then 14 pounds, then 15 pounds, and then finally ended up uh, at 18.75. But you know, that's the, maybe that's overly safe way to do it. But the point is not to just try to do it in two steps, maybe at least three or four steps as you go. So that you're gradually tightening, tightening this head up and things are just gradually squeezing in to do the job that it's supposed to be doing. All right.